So it's some of the biggest names in tennis coming up this week at the Labor Cup, the sixth edition of this Labor Cup. Uh, it's been an interesting time over the last few years. Of course, last year at the Labor Cup, we had some huge names playing. Of course, the big four were playing. Federer's retirement it was a massive deal in London. This time we're going to Vancouver. Let's go see who's playing this time around. So starting with Team Europe, we've got Andre Rublev. He is the highest ranked player at number six. Kasper Ruud, he's at number nine in the world at the moment. He's the second highest ranked player. Hubi Hercatch, number 16 in the world. He is the third choice. Davidova Trikina is the number 25 in the world. Gael Monfils, he's coming in as well at number 35 in the world with a protected ranking. And Arthur Fies at number 44 in the world coming in as well. So both for Kina and Feast, we're not supposed to actually play the event, but because Runa and City Pass have pulled out of the event due to injury, they've come in as like the emergencies, I guess you could call them, to replace those two big names. On Team World, you got Fritz, number eight in the world. He's the top player from Team World. Francis Tiafo, the number 11 in the world. He's the second highest ranked player. Tommy Paul at number 13 in the world. He is the third highest ranked player. You've got Oji Eliassim at number 14 in the world. He comes in again. Ben Sheldon at number 19 in the world. He's also playing. And Sarundalo, 21 in the world, also going to be playing this one. Also, you can see there, for Team World, Eubanks and Rayonich are the alternates. So if somebody does get injured from Team World, they will jump in and play the rest of the match or play a match in their replacement. I mean, head to head and side by side, Team World are looking pretty good compared to Team Europe, especially without Runa and City Pass. Of course, no Djokovic. Nadal's not playing, of course, being injured. Murray didn't decide to come back and play again. So really interesting to see how close the teams look. So there you have it. They are the big names that are playing. Of course, no City Pass, no Runa. A little bit disappointing. No Nadal, of course. No Djokovic, no Federer, no Murray from last year. It's looking a little bare. And then the big guns from Team Europe in terms of the young guys. Elkrez, Sinner, of course, not playing either. Medvedev not playing. So Team Europe doesn't look the same. This time around, a Team World have got the best team they can put together, maybe besides Nick Kyrgios, who is, of course, injured. So, really interested to see how this goes this time around. Let me know in the comments below. Are you actually interested in watching the Labor Cup this time around? Definitely a lot different to last year. Last year, it was Federer's farewell. It was the big, you know, big four playing doubles together. Everyone was playing. You know, City Pass was there too, I guess, as a consolation prize. Uh, but, hey, there was a massive deal last year, and Team World won anyway, so... I don't know what's going to happen this time around. We'll watch it, I guess, you know, keep an eye on it. There's some interesting matchups there that I want to see, but let's see if uh, the Labor Cup this time around without the GOATs does well. Let me know down in the comments below if you are going to watch it.